Dr. Anthony Fauci, we're at the eve of your retirement, and you've undoubtedly served the American people impeccably for many decades. You're the highest paid government employee. It's weird. <laughs> Don't you think? Super weird. And I think there's no doubt that you have single-handedly saved the lives of every single living American over the past two years of our worldwide scare because of your leadership. I was misleading people. I know, but I think that's just part of good, effective leadership. However, it seems like the whole house of cards is crumbling. As I'm sure you know, at the recent EU hearings, Pfizer admitted that they never tested their treatment to see if it stops transmission. The very treatment that you heavily promoted as the main way to stop transmission. And I'm curious, when you heard this, what did you say? As soon as I heard it, I said, holy shit, this is gonna go bad. Do you think you'll go to jail? I think so. Uh, and then what did you say to your other colleagues that are involved in this? whole thing. Why don't I bow out of this one? And thus you're retiring. And going back to the beginning of it all, do you think it was a mistake for you to fund the Wuhan lab the way that you did in a way that was so easily discoverable? I, w I don't want to use the word mistake. Well, you probably should, but that's just semantics. Who cares? How long have you been committing crimes against humanity? 38 years, 38 full years. Really? I've just known about the past two years. Has it been that long? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess the whole HIV, AZT thing. I forgot about that. Now, you seem to have developed a side hobby in the past two years in your spare time, and that's censorship. Allegedly colluding with big tech, advising them to censor much of what runs counter to your purely science-based narrative. I represent science. Indeed you are. I don't know how science existed before you were born, but somehow it did. But when it comes to censorship, which has never been on the right side of history as it turns out, how do you want to be remembered? You know, I want to be remembered by, as someone who gave everything they had. And fond memories of your earnest effort they will be. But, in spite of you giving everything you have to the cause, there is a comedian named J.P. Sears who has found a way to release a completely uncensored special called Please Censor This. That idea just gives me chills just thinking about that. Me too. I just wish you could have found a way to get it censored. But it's available for pre-sale starting today. And Anthony, I want you to take a look. I mean, that's completely crazy. I know, isn't it? We got a real problem here. We have a real, real problem. Indeed, but it's being released to the world nonetheless. Now, releasing something completely uncensored like this that even makes jokes about you, what do you think will happen? I would say that what we should realize and have realized that there will be deleterious collateral consequences when you do something like that. I don't even know what deleterious means, but free speech is the worst. Maybe you could pull some strings and get the FBI involved to take down this dangerous comedy special. But as it stands, Please Censor This is available for pre-sale now at pleasecensorthis.com. Oh, and rumor has it that if someone loves freedom, then they'll love Please Censor This. But if they love authoritarianism, then they'll hate it, so. I don't think you're gonna like it. Tell me about your herpes. We had the misfortune of a, an outbreak. I'm very sorry to hear that. Just be sure to wash your hands, you filthy animal. Now, in a recent interview you've done, much like this one, you've received a lot of backlash from people. After two years of you advocating for the idea of keeping schools closed, in the interview, you acted like you had nothing to do with it. If you go back, and I ask anybody to go back over the number of times that I've said we've got to do everything we can to keep the schools open. No one plays that clip. They always come back and say Fauci was responsible for closing schools. Good point. I can see how people would have gotten the wrong idea when they just believed the words that were coming out of your mouth. It's kind of like a former president that you used to advise. He would always say, fool me once, shame on me. 
fool me twice, shame on you. So shame on those people for believing you. Yeah. Exactly, right? But you shouldn't discount that it does afflict children. Now it sounds like you're justifying keeping schools closed, which you did, but said you didn't do. Go on. This idea that this virus doesn't afflict children is not so. It does. We've lost close to 1,500 kids so far. But you're hoping for more? Yeah. Well, let me push back just a little bit there. Keeping schools closed and trying to mandate treatments for children when just 1,500 kids have been lost, according to your friends at the CDC, more than twice that number of kids are lost to drowning each year, 3,960 to be exact. Do you think we should keep pools closed too? Well, yeah. You don't like pools, okay. But also according to your friends at the CDC, more than 1.2 million adverse events have been reported due to your recommended protections. So do you think your method of protection is worth it? Oh, of course. I see where you're coming from. I was thinking about it worth it in terms of human life, not profit. Now, I understand a man of your caliber in such a prestigious position can't just talk openly about all things because then people would just find out. But can I ask, what's your secret code language for protecting profit? Protect the children. That's a good one. A lot of misdirection. I'm sure it throws everybody off. Well, Dr. Fauci, this has been illuminating. Thank you for taking the time. And I'm sure you'll be remembered throughout history for what you've done, similar to Germany's angel of death doctor. You and I don't want to take any credit away from him. Oh, quit being modest. You won't. There's plenty of room for you both. Thank you, Anthony, and good luck not getting caught.